Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Anthony here. Um, Jordan's in uh, school, so it's my day off today. So I decided I wanted to go throw the pole around for a little bit here. Um, <clears throat> driving right now. Let's see here. So I'm a little upset. Uh, it's been warming up the past few days and getting nicer outside. And now it is decided to drop down to 36 degrees and give us a light dusting last night. So that means it was below 32 degrees last night here in Iowa. And now it's snowed again. It is April 2nd. Don't know why it snowed again. It'd be nice if it stopped doing this because I am, frankly, I'm sick of it. I uh, wanted to warm up so I can, you know, get outside and and do stuff and have fun with Jordan and my other sons that you guys will see in the videos, Isaac and Jariah. And, yeah, it's, it's kind of tiring. Right now it's got a light drizzle going on, so <clears throat> I figured we'd go out to the pond here for a little bit and throw the pole around and see what happens. Uh, hopefully we get some bites. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning, so... I'm gonna walk over to the pond. Uh, it's where we shot our wrap up to our first video. Um, so you guys are real recognize it. Um, yeah, we'll All be right, back. guys. So I'm now walking out of the car. Gonna head over to the pond. Got my backpack. Got my lures. Got my my sidearm. So now walking that way. See uh see what's happening here. See if we get anything. It's a little chilly out. Hopefully they didn't run back down because the water got a little colder. But we'll see what happens. Um, nice day out, even though it's cloudy. Birds are chirping. Vehicles are, are driving. So here we go. Gonna head down to the pond and see if we can't get something to bite on our, our little lure here. So I got my gear I got with me is a uh, Boo Garcia Black Max. Uh, Bait caster combo set. Uh, I think it ran me about 80 bucks, I want to say, uh, from Walmart. So, a nice little bait caster. I suck with bait casters. So, it's kind of a, a training session as well, if you were wondering. So, I'm not a professional fisherman. Uh, do this every once in a while. I'm not big in getting out of here and fishing all the time. But, like I said in our first video, challenging myself to get outside more and enjoy nature and you know get healthy and do all that stuff instead of just sitting around and playing video games and going to work and being stressed out because that's what we do uh we go to work and get all stressed out but uh if you guys are wondering <clears throat> why the camera's a little bouncy so i was trying to get my gopro to work this morning i actually wanted to leave the house around eight but for some reason gopro wouldn't work um it's a hero three so it's an older one so I might have to get a new GoPro, but I found this cool little screwing device. It actually converts your GoPro mount into just like a camera mount. Well, I also have a iPhone mount for my camera mount. So now I have my iPhone 10s on my GoPro holster mount. So we're a little bouncy. Um, we're walking here, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I'm looking at as I'm walking. Here we go. Nice little trail. Uh, got some water on the trail here. So this is where we came down the creek where I found that gold ring. Um, I did end up coming back with the metal detector. Um, didn't find anything else. Found a couple coins. Um, it was super wet out when I came back. It was raining a little bit and it was cold. So Jordan didn't come with me. I just came down by myself real quick um, to check it out to see if I could find any more jewelry or anything like that. And you know, it could be either that got washed upstream or if they did bury something there, it probably washed downstream with all the flooding. But the creek is actually pretty low now. It's just freezing out. You can actually see the bottom here. Let's see if I can get you guys a good, good view. You can kind of see through the water there now. Hey look, there's a soda can, but 
guess what? It's freezing. So I will not be getting in there. Um, once it warms up, we'll come back down and we'll, we'll get in the creek and some of the, the deeper spots will go and snorkel one. So I originally left the house wearing a pair of shorts. It was so cold though, I uh, had to put on some sweatpants. So yeah, so if you guys are wondering where I'm at, I live in Nevada, Iowa. It's a little town outside of Ames, Iowa, where Iowa State University is. <clears throat> and this is a Indian Creek. It's a walking trail um, here. People come jog and walk. Uh, and then we got our little pond and the creek, of course, kind of pointing with the, the fishing pole, if you can catch that. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little area. Still super wet, super muddy, as you can see. Winter's still calming down, even though it's not winter anymore. It just needs to go away so we can get outdoors and, and do stuff. So, all right, guys. So here we go. It's a little windy out, so hopefully my, my, uh, Baitcaster doesn't tangle up on me, but here we go. Hey, run, little squirrel, run. Let's see what happens here. Walking up on the spot. Here it is. It's beautiful out here. Look at this. It's nice and clean. We got a goose. Hey. Looks like someone came out here and joined in the fun. Old fishing rod in the trash can. Looks like maybe they uh, scraped the bottom a little bit. But yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a try. Hopefully my first cast isn't a complete failure. And get my lure off my pole. That'd be amazing. Off to a good start here, guys. All right, there we go. All right. Let's see here. Uh, it is beautiful out today, I guess. I'm wearing polarized glasses, so. Whew. Yeah. That was a good, good one there. Not really. I'm lying. Told you guys I'm new to the whole bait caster situation. Not too bad, not too bad. I didn't line up there. I don't know if there's bass in this pond or not. Um, I know Ada Hayden Lake, there's bass. I know there's crappie in here. Um, some other stuff. Sorry guys, I'm gonna get you a better view here. I'm done. There we go. <clears throat> oh, that was not a good one. Knotted up a little bit there. me a stick get off all right the hardest thing about this bait caster I think for me is remembering to keep my finger cast on the line I'm gonna try and get up under this tree a little bit here without getting tangled up bird nested a little bit we'll cut this out the video all 
Told you guys I ain't good with this thing. But you can only get better, right? Mm -hmm. A very good toss. <laughs> Try over here in this other area. Goose is telling us to get out of his house. Looks like he took off already. Oh, yes. Off to a great start here, guys. Passing into this tree here. Try not to. Catching some, catching a bunch of trim. It's a little bit more open spot here. Oh, something just took off right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see that mud? Something saw me coming and took off. Better of a cast. that one hard Probably the furthest thing from a pro, guys. Just to let you know this. Just wanted to get out, enjoy the day. It's my day off. I got today and tomorrow off, and I go back to work Thursday night. So, I figured I'd get out here, enjoy a little bit of weather. Um, when Jordan gets home, we are gonna go um, down to the lake, shoot a video. Uh, we'll probably stay on, on dry land, though since it's a little cold out. <clears throat> Don't think his mother would like it too much if I got him sick. A little bit. I 
but it's kind of enjoying being outside. It's nice out. The pond's got a little trash in it, to be honest with you. Um, I wonder if we... I'm gonna get my, my diving license. Uh, talked about it before. Found a guy in Des Moines that, that does the classes. So I might have to go out and see him. Maybe I'll get that and come, come dive this pond a little bit. That's a sign here, say. The sign here says... No swimming or waiting. Well, maybe not. Well, maybe I can get permission from the city of of Nevada. We can come out here and do that. See if I can get down on this bank. Hopefully I'm not in anybody's property. They don't get mad at me. Got some river rock here. It's a nice little opener right here. Hope this isn't someone's property. Huh? Get kicked out or get kicked out. We'll see. to myself lifting my finger I have the habit of lifting my finger so I'm used to the other rails not a bait caster so it might be a quicker fix though last one was not That was a quicker fix. Not too bad. Basically what I'm trying to do is keep my finger on the, the line here. If you haven't used a bait caster before, you have to freaking hold the, the spool down. It takes some skill. So these fishermen out there toss these things around all day like a toy. Big ups to you. Oh, right in a tree. You guys see that? Bad a thousand today, guys. Oh, I might lose my lure. Come on, baby. Title to this video: Fishing Fails. Come on, give my lure back. I think I'm wrapped around it pretty good. Beefy line on it, so hopefully, we'll get this branch over here far enough. Yeah, she might snap. I'm about to eat this hook, guys. Pretty good. So wait for the branch to break and eat the hook. Shut up for a little bit so you guys can enjoy the the nature.
Here you guys. Switch spots here in the pond a little bit. Keep getting caught up on that tree. Look at that. How nice the water is. in his mud. <laughs> Got some geese coming in, guys. Go Canadian geese. Say like they're chasing off a duck. Say so it might be fighting. A couple more just landed. I didn't even notice that. We got some ducks out here too. Pretty cool. Sorry, just started walking while I was still recording. All right, come back over to the the original spot here. I don't know I might call it a day, guys. It might be too cold for 
fish to come up. Um, I know this lure, I've got a couple bass head on it before. So I don't know, maybe the fish is too cold. It's too cold for them to come to the surface or or what's going on there. But I'm not an ice fisherman. I'm not big on fishing really. I just do it when I'm bored. And now that I'm trying to get out more, I want to want to do stuff while I'm out. So I figured I'd give this a shot, see how it goes. But yeah, otherwise than that, I mean, brought you guys a beautiful pond. We got some geese now messing with the ducks. So it's like a couple mallards over there. And then there's what? Six geese. It's pretty cool. I didn't know there were ducks in here. You see a little green head over there? He's heading out. He said, let me get out of these geese way. They're crazy. But, Hey, look. What's that? Is that a, a beaver? See him? Yeah, it's a beaver. That's awesome. All kinds of stuff out here, guys. Just went under water. Oh, you know what? That's who, uh, that's what took off earlier when I went over there. A beaver he was in a hole down there that's pretty cool things you see when you get outdoors yeah I know there was a real big problem with the beavers over in the creek they were building dams like crazy so now they're they're over in the pond now too so unless they moved over here for the winter who knows Don't think I think of. Yeah, pretty nice little pond out here in Nevada, Iowa. Uh, even if you live in Nevada and you didn't know this is here, well, here it is. Nice little area to sit down, enjoy nature, and uh, get a little something to eat. Duck friends coming towards us here. Let's see if we can get him. There he is. There's our little duck buddy. Got tangled up on that pretty good. All right, guys, I'm gonna give her one more cast and then I'm, I'm out of here for the day. Just in my stuff here. There we go. It's messing with my adjustments earlier, so I screwed it all up. It'd be nice to end it on a, a fish, but. 
can't always get what you want. Duck friends taking off. The geese have ran him out of his pond, fortunately. All right, guys, I'm ending it on that note. Um, I'm gonna head home for the day until Jordan gets home, and then we'll we'll make our other video for the day. But I'm gonna leave it here for a minute so you guys can take in the, the pond in nature. All right, guys, until next time, remember, get outdoors. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any video suggestions for us, let us know. Thank you.